Well, hello folks. So, we've had a lot of guys coming in. I wanted to run through some iPad stuff today. And MIDI stuff in general. There's all kinds of stuff. One thing you guys should see for sure. Let's go with MIDI pad first. That would be this one over here on the left. Don't. This is a neat little program. Very basic, very simple to use. If you're just getting started, you've got a whole bunch of pages and you can set it up. So let's see what I've got here. This is one I set up for the stomp. You've got up up here in the left hand corner going across a whole bunch of stuff for doing looping. You've got your five foot switches underneath that. Three snapshots, a bypass tuner, basically just filled this with everything there is in the old Helix manual. Foot switch modes, tap tempos, all the stuff works. And it's real simple. Click on stuff, you can edit it. Let's go with foot switch two, you can change colors. Use toggle. Control changes are the old CC. These are laid out in the manual for you. You just basically choose a number for your stomp or whatever you want to control and then follow the numbers in the manual. 51 would be foot switch 2, 50 would be number 1, and so on and so forth. Simple. Up down, value, down values are as you hit this, 1 would be 1 or 0 would be off and 128 would be on. So it basically just sends an on and an off. What you've got to do on the stomp side to make this stuff work is program in the stomp what you want those foot switches to do. Like the same way that you touch it on screen or touch the foot switch and assign something to it, you do that here as well. It's pretty basic stuff. Let's move on. What's really cool with this thing is say you want to do presets. Those are PC changes. And say you have a whole bunch of them. What I'm using this for is to run different stuff on my Variax. You can switch and change stuff. I'm actually doing it a different way, but I don't know what you want to do. Say you have music, and instead of scrolling through and trying to find stuff and using up and down foot switches to do stuff, if you just have a playlist that's for blues, you can set up one page for blue stuff. You can click on it and it will take you straight to that preset in one go. All well and lovely. If you're using the Iridium, you can send out different PCs to store different app settings. You can use multiple different things. And say you had two different MIDI pedals, because this thing can stack pads, if you go there, you can set up one program change and then you can add another one. Change that from note to program change. You can change the channel to a different one. So I've got a processor on channel two, a SIM one. I can set the program change to be whichever guitar I want. So this will basically go out there and say set the Iridium to program 32 and it will say set the SIM 1 to program 72, whatever that is. You'd have to see that and all is one and lovely and you can just keep adding stuff on here. So if you have three different pedals you can set the old stomp to go to a, a preset which will do that. This is a really interesting, simple, fast way to select multiple things at once. This is the exact same kind of feature set that you get with more advanced mini pedals like the MC6 or the MC8 or stuff like that. And if you're getting more and more and more into MIDI, it's a cool way to do it. It's also interface wise a really great way to get your entire rig coordinated the way you want really fast. Is it pretty? Nah. Not so much. But it's quick and easy and those are massive screens and so if you're on stage 
bam, just hit that button and it will go off and call up all those things for you and it makes life easy. But there are other apps out there. If you just get a camera connection kit, you can use crazy stuff like Loop HD. And on that, you can take audio directly from the USB of the stomp and you can start recording and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And start recording and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And you can continue doing stuff and play it out and then you can mix and merge them together. And you can continue doing start stuff recording and doing all kinds play it of crazy out and stuff. Mix and merge them together. And stuff. And you can continue doing stuff and start recording and play it out and increase it. And from there you can start adding all kinds of crazy different things. There's all kinds of sessions, recordings, there's... Do, 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 do. Different things you can add in. Looping is an awesome thing. You can augment the power of your stomp by using apps. You can literally go in here, connect up to acoustic EQs, or you can set up any kind of crazy thing you want, like a polyphonic octaver, and you can control all this stuff. Add stuff in, your MIDI can divide and do all kinds of crazy functions, and you can extend your blocks just over USB. It's a pretty wild thing. Let's get off that. What else can you do with this thing? On song. Truly amazing. This program organizes masses of, of stuff, but what I use it for is MIDI and a MIDI controller. And so I set the guitar that I have in the processor here on screen, PRS or a Revstar, or a Rickenbacker. And I can click on any of these icons and say, change the cabinet of the Iridium to that. Gives you a visual representation. You can click on the actual pickups and select the pickups. You can do really crazy stuff. You can have I don't know, a whole bunch of different acoustic guitars. Just hit that, whack it. And it's sending out mini commands to take you to the specific stuff you want. Or you can take a picture like this and you can duplicate the stuff that you'd have in an MC6 up to a point on here. Truly amazing stuff. How does it all work? This will go through There are all kinds of little MIDI add-ons. You can use sticky notes, like this. Go into MIDI, events, send, add. You can do controls, you can do programs, you can do all kinds of stuff. But the, the beauty of this is it organizes all your stuff. So you see channel two is my sing guitar program, channel three, Iridium, channel four, Stomp. And you can put in all of your presets and then not ever think about it ever again. So for a song, if you want to call up directly uh, Orange 80 or if you want to pull up any preset you want here, you can do that. You can do exactly as we did before. But it's all written down. You don't have to remember these crazy numbers. You can do control changes of all different sorts, such as your EXPs, you can set those, or you can change volumes, or you can change drive settings, or you can map this through to an actual EXP and do everything with your feet. You can activate the foot switches and you can do all this in real time. And then 
it kind of acts like a sequencer. And what that does is, as you're playing a song, instead of sitting here and doodling about and going through all the foot tapping and dancing and all that nonsense, you can go one further with these. You can actually take a song song, you know, with actual words and all that kind of stuff, and lyrics and music charts. And as you're stepping through the song, you can tell your rig, change. So, as you hit the intro, or as you go into the verse, or the chorus, or whatever, this will do it all for you. No more tap dancing. Pretty amazing stuff. But there's a very simple controller of gear. You can lay out what you've got. You can do it all visually. It makes life just so much more natural. You're not sitting here thinking, what's the CC this, or what's the PC that, or what's the number of this or that. It just organizes your life for you. Yet another of the joys of having an iPad. and You could do this on a phone. It's really amazing. So, food for thought. It's for the stuff you want to use. I really hope this comes in handy and welcome to the group. There's a lot of stuff that we can talk about, but you know, introduce yourselves, ask questions, let us know what we can do to help. See you.